everyone, Carla the Bubble Lush. I just wanted to give you a really quick update on what happened today. Um, for those of you that follow me on Facebook, you probably already know. However, today is Cycle Day 17 and I had my IUI today, so I just wanted to tell you all about it. Let's back up. This is Cycle 10. On Cycle Day 3 through 7, I took 7.5 milligrams of Femera. Um, no real side effects. It was totally fine. I went in on Cycle Day 15, because it was a Monday, um, for my mid-cycle scan follicle study and the lining I think it was 7.9 it could have been 7.3 somewhere in there it was less than 8 which I like to see it thicker than 8 but um my doctor said it looked great so okay um that kind of all got overshadowed by the fact that I had a follicle on my left ovary which I was super excited about see the previous video where I I was crazy uh, <laughs> but I was really excited so my follicle was 18 by 25 millimeters on my left side and since it was so big that's the biggest one I've ever had um, don't laugh <laughs> they had me do a trigger shot that night so at 10 o'clock Chris gave me a trigger shot um, we abstained Tuesday night and then Wednesday morning today Chris went in at 7:30 to um, give a sample to the lab and then at 9 30 we went in for an IUI um, so the one weird thing about this one is that they took my vitals before I had my IUI this time, which I thought was kind of strange. My temperature was like 98.9, which is pretty high. Um, I'm usually 97.6. I, I have kind of a lower body temperature, but given the fact that my hormones were raging today, um, 98.9, sure. Um, they did my blood pressure, my pulse. Then she just asked me for my height and weight, which thank you, because I'm wearing a very heavy sweater today. <laughs> Do you need to go outside? Go outside! Oh, guys, that's so good. He's learning. Uh, it's about time. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Where was I? Uh, oh, so they did my vitals. Okay, moving on. So then we go into the room. Then these two chicks in white lab coats come in. They, um, introduce themselves, I don't remember their names, but uh, they, I guess, were nurses. And they said that there was some confusion that I thought that my doctor was going to be giving the IUI, because last time a doctor gave me my IUI, but I guess they're going to do it. And I was like, well, have you ever done an IUI before? And she's like, oh yeah, I've done tons of them. She's new, but she's just going to be watching. And I was like, all right, uh, just aim for the left side and uh, be gentle. She was like, no, no problem. She's like, um... Now, I'm going to be explaining step by step. That's for, I don't know, Olga, let's call her. I don't know. And um, so first we looked at the semen analysis. And post-wash, it was 44 million sperm, which is good. It doesn't beat Chris's record, but <laughs> um, that's more than enough. Um, I asked them about their, their like, sperm cutoffs. Um, they said that they have had pregnancies with as few as 800,000 sperm. Um, if it's less than 800,000 sperm, I guess they cancel the cycle. If it's between 800,000 and 2 million sperm, post-wash, these are all post-wash numbers, um, then it's up to the client, but why wouldn't you do an IUI if you're already there? And um, if it's more than 2 million, if it's between 2 and 10 million sperm, then those are really good odds. And anything more than 10 million is like icing on the cake. So I was like, woohoo, Chris, good job. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. That's my clinic's protocol, I guess. <clears throat> so she was really harsh with the speculum. Because, <laughs> you know, IUIs kind of start out as a pap smear. You know, you lay back, they put in a speculum. Um, they try to find your cervix. I guess my cervix was hiding and it was really, like, low you know, on the table, not like low. Yeah, it was low. It was hiding. <laughs> and so um, she like put the speculum in and opened it and oop, no cervix, cervix. And so she pulled it out with it still open. And then she pushed it back in. Oh, no cervix. And then she, and I was like, it's in there. I promise. She pulls it back out. And then she, and I like raised my, I tilt my hips and then she puts it back in. She's like, there it is. And I was like, holy crap, lady, that really hurt. You're supposed to close the speculum before you pull it out. It really hurt. <laughs> um, but um, the catheter didn't hurt at all. And when they um, injected this, the sperm, for those of you that haven't had an IUI, injected doesn't mean that there's a needle involved. It's just when they shot the sperm through the little catheter thing into my uterus, it didn't hurt. Um, 
it feels kind of full now, but you know, no big deal. So, um, I went fine. They made me lay there for 15 minutes and Chris and I like talked and I read, uh, Conception Chronicles, um, uh, which is a book I showed you before. It's the one with the bright pink cover. It's pretty good. Um, right now it's dealing with fertile friends and fertile foes. Whatever. I'm not that far into it, obviously. Come here. Good boy. He's potty trained almost. It's so great. Uh, so I just wanted to let you guys know that my IUI went fine. And um, so now we're just in the two week wait. It was so cute. The doctor was like, no, just consider yourself pregnant. Um, no alcohol, no caffeine, and no hot tubs. And I was like, okay. All right. Well, so much for that holiday party. Um, Chris was like, this is so exciting because it's possible that you conceived on Veterans Day and then we'll find out that you're pregnant on Thanksgiving. And I'm like, yeah, I'm probably not going to wait until Thanksgiving to test because the last thing I want to do is get a big fat negative and then have to to like cook a turkey and, you know, socialize with people. So I'm probably going to test a couple days leading up to Thanksgiving. That way I'm kind of prepared if it's a negative. But it's going to be positive, right? Totally going to be positive. Um, <laughs> so another thing I want to talk about you, to you guys about is that most of you know I just bought a new laptop and that's why I'm making these low quality videos with my webcam that you guys just love. Um, however, I wanted to jazz up a video like a week ago and I realized that this computer does not have a Windows Movie Maker, which is what I used to use to add titles and an opening and all that kind of stuff. And like annotations on the bottom, that kind of stuff. So I was going to download it and that wouldn't let me do it. So we went to Best Buy and I bought this Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD. It was 50 bucks. But you guys are totally worth it, right? Um, so it seems really, really cool. There's a lot of great features. It's like Windows Movie Maker on steroids. Um, but it's, the interface is pretty similar. Uh, so, those of you that have watched the video I uploaded on the Five Waiting Looms channel, the choosing a basal body thermometer, that was me trying to get used to all the settings. It's going to be a while until I'm like really fast at it, but um, it's got some really great features that you can do. So, look for more videos of that coming up. Also, that TCC 101 video that I put up, that's the first in a series that we're going to do. So, if you guys have any topics, suggest them down below. The reason why we're doing this is that we get a lot of um, emails from girls that have questions about like how to take their BBT, when to take an OPK, faint lines, uh, Clomid versus Femera, all that kind of stuff. So we just figured if, if we were able to make videos on one topic that were like five to six minutes long and when we get questions like that we can just send them the video link. It'd be great. And besides, who doesn't need a review of the basics? Once I've been trying to conceive for a year, I kind of forget all the stuff that I was like fluent in a year ago. So I think it's good for all of us to kind of go back to basics and remind ourselves of, of the little nuances. So if you guys have any suggestions for those type of videos, leave a comment below. Um, Baby Dust is always welcome. Baby Dust right back at you guys. Big fat follicles and um, yeah, Baby Dust. Bye guys.